Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for checking out this video on my homemade gimbal. Uh, it's made out of half inch PVC, 3D printed parts, and a couple motors that I bought online. The motors are uh, 800 gram weight payload, so they can carry roughly Sony A5000, A6000, A63, that range of camera weight. So about 1.5 pounds, perfect weight. Made of half inch PVC, it's only two axis. Uh, I have plans for three axis in the future. Right now it's only got the roll and the pitch axes, where the third axis would compensate for the yaw, which is basically turning left and right. Powered by a 2200 milliamp hour battery, uh, the motors do not draw much current at all, only use about 7 volts total between the two of them, so the battery lasts pretty darn long. The whole unit weighs roughly 5 pounds. It's very lightweight, mainly because of the PVC and the 3D printed pieces. The camera is also pretty nice, designed specifically for the A5000. Now, the motors are a 14 pole motor, so they can carry quite a bit of weight. They're only using about 35-40% power of the entire battery. The front of it is designed with up and down level adjustments, pretty bootleg, but it gets the job done for this size camera. Motors are connected through PC fan connectors that I soldered on, extended wiring, and overall a hollow design. It's powered by a simple BGC brushless gimbal controller. It's an 8-bit board. It's a generic clone not from the actual simple BGC website, so if you were to build something kind of like this, I'd strongly recommend you get the official board, because upgrading the firmware is much easier on it, whereas with the clone board you got to use a Arduino Uno, and you got to use the Arduino IDE and upload a new bootloader to it, then you got to flash it onto the board, connect it to the Arduino, and do multiple things with it. So I originally broke the connector that plugs the uh, gyroscope sensors, so I soldered on directly to the board and it solved all my issues. A couple paint chips here and there, mainly when I was adjusting, can't really fix them now. Uh, in the future, I'll probably do powder coated metal or carbon fiber rods. Overall, it came out pretty darn well. If you take your time and make smooth, steady shots, you can get some pretty good shots out of it. The unit doesn't weigh much, so it doesn't get you very tired on the scene. And because of the great battery life, it lasts pretty darn long. Uh, I'd say it outlasts the life of the camera battery itself, so that's pretty cool too. Now I have it set up in two different ways where you can hold it with two hands if you're doing left and right panning shots or some up and down moves. Or you can grab it by the center handle and walk with it, because for some reason when you walk with the center handle, it's smoother. Now in this shot, I'm walking, or more likely running with the two handles, and you can see how the yaw, the lack of yaw motor causes the whole thing to shift, and you can see the rolling shutter. And then I switch to the middle handle, and it creates a, just a much more stable image overall. For some reason, holding it closer to the base of the gimbal produces a nicer result. And I have all the parts listed here, so overall it's about $100 to build.